Hey folks, welcome to Life on Beagle Road, on the road. We are on the way to the Homesteaders of America conference in Front Royal, Virginia. Are we gonna see you? Are you so excited, Kenny? So excited. So, so excited. Do you wanna tell everyone how we almost ran out of gas because you can't read? We didn't almost run out of gas. I knew that we had 20 miles to go, so I pulled off on the wrong exit, got back on, pulled off on the right exit. That's why I got off the road when I had 20 miles to go. That gave me 20 miles to figure out that I didn't know where I was going. That's not almost running out of gas. That's being prepared for being unprepared. If you say so. Kenny and I like to sing on road trips, but I mean, that's gonna leave us with some copyright issues. So here goes 99 bottles of beer on the wall. It's a great classic. Ready? 99, 99 bottles of beer on the wall. 99, 99 bottles of beer. You take, take one, one down, down pass it, it around. Oh, no? No. <laughs> not, I thought that's what drink you do. It, drink take, it all yourself. Take one down, drink, drink it, it down. No. Get another one. Get another one. Drink Keep it. Keep going. Find some wine. Maybe some shots. Jim Beam. I don't know. Man, my head hurts. 99 bottles, bottles of, of beer, beer on, on the wall. wall. Well, we started at 99. Oh. So we'd be more at like 75. 75 bottles of beer, beer on, on the wall. wall. 75, 75 bottles of beer. You take Man, I'm one drunk. Out. <laughs> I can't drink anymore. No. I can't count anymore. This is a terrible song. Man, what can we sing? Uh, I mean, I'm really good at uh, You Are My Sunshine. <laughs> we are excellent. And, and Twinkle Twinkle yeah. Little Star. Bridget makes me sing it every night before every I put her to bed. night. All of them. I gotta sing Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, Row, Row, Row Your Boat. Um, the one I you just said, sunshine. You Are My Sunshine. Which, by the way, I don't know any more words other than You Are My no. Sunshine. No. Does it sunshine. have more than one I, verse? I don't know. I only know that verse. That's all I know. That's all she gets. That's it, yeah. I mean, that's all she knows. Yeah. Do you remember when she was a baby and uh, she wouldn't fall asleep unless I either sang the, uh, what is it, the, your mama's gonna buy you a diamond ring or whatever, daddy's gonna buy you a diamond ring, or um, played hip hop. That was Emerson, not Bridget. No, oh, you're right. Emerson was the hip hop, but Bridget was still the, Bridget the, the slept diamond ring. like an angel. Uh, fair enough. Yeah. All right, so maybe I really have our kids wrong. You do. Do you remember me vacuuming, uh, playing uh, the Samuel L. Jackson reads the Go yes. the F to Sleep book and vacuuming, and that's the only way I could get Emerson to go to sleep? Yeah, basically Emerson just didn't sleep unless you stood there and held her. Yes. And walked around. It made a ton of noise. She would scream if you sat down, like she oh. knew when you were sitting. Yes. Oh gosh, and she would only pull all that oh. at like 3 a.m. And we had to go to work the next day at Terrible. six. Well, I had to go at six. Uh, I'm having flashbacks. Let's talk about something else. All right. Hey, that's a great farm over there. Ooh, pretty farm. We did it. We're here. Yo. What? Are you gonna care? You gonna help me with any of this? You gonna carry one bag? No, no you, bags. No bags. You seem to have it. I don't worry. You couldn't even hold the door for me? I mean, you got feet. You are such a sweet woman. I am. Such a sweet woman. I am. Right, guys? Right. But we are here. We're here. Yay! Sweet. We got separate beds. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. I'm getting tired of you kicking me in the middle of the night. I'm getting tired of your arms flailing around, smacking me in the head. I can't help it. I love to sleep like this. And then I gotta stretch out. You have the wingspan of a bald eagle. That's right. That's because I'm a protected species. No kids, no kids. We have no kids. No kids, no kids. Yeah! What are you doing in there? Um, celebrating the fact that we have no kids here? What are we gonna do while we're here? Hmm. Well, 
I want to go back to that place where we got the mead. Seriously, we came to a conference so you could find the bar with the mead? That is <laughs> not what this conference is about. I mean, mead is pretty homesteady. Sure, but like, that's not why we're here. Isn't it? All right, well, maybe a little bit. Okay, fine. Well, allow me to consult the schedule. You didn't quickly. even look, did you? Do you even know what's going on this week? I mean, I did look, and I knew what I wanted to go to, but then I kind of forgot. I mean, I want to go to Rose's session on goats. Courtney. Kenny. What do you think of this 1970s chair they got here in this hotel? That is some stripey goodness. I've never been in a Holiday Inn that was so holiday. <laughs> this is the Holiday Inn. Hotel, motel, holiday inn. All right. So I want to do raising livestock on small properties. That's, that's us. That's us. Raising dairy goats on the homestead with my girl Rose. That's us. Um, and then I'm torn between six secrets for better from scratch cooking and cheese making on the homestead. Those are at the same time. And I could use six secrets for better from scratch cooking. That's right. Wipe that look <laughs> off your face. I'm just saying, Courtney, you are awesome at so much stuff. I'm better than I used to be. Nobody orders a pizza quite like you. <laughs> it's true. And then there's another one that I'm torn between. So I definitely want to do passive and low pressure water systems on the homestead because like we need that, right? right. That's yep. a thing nope, that we That would need. be good, we should do that. But then Mike and Lacey are talking about life in a yurt at the same time. So I kind of want to hear that. But we're never gonna live in a yurt. I know. And that's... we know Mike and Lacey. We can talk to them about living in a yurt anytime. We need to learn about the low pressure water stuff. And then we can go and we can see if Mike and Lacey want to talk about their yurt over a beer. That's true. I mean, maybe they want to talk about their yurt like I want to talk about my goats, which is all the time. Truth. And then definitely the hand-hewn farm session. Oh, I want to see that. Those those folks are good people. Yeah. Um, and they're going to talk about the principles that guide their passion. Yes. I like it. I like it. Uh, and then I got to see Raising Broilers for profit and family. Is there a session on how to keep your wife from driving you into the poorhouse because she buys too many goats? No, no, Kenny. Ooh, ooh, build your own feeders in 10 to 15 minutes with Stony Ridge. Well, I'll go see him. Um, and sustainably raising homestead hogs with Kaylee. I'll go to that. Of course you will. So you know what's fun? We met Don here last year and he didn't have a homestead or YouTube channel and now he has a homestead and a YouTube channel. How cool is that? We are definitely going to be seeing Don, I think, uh, sometime tomorrow. Probably going to go have some, I don't know, beers. Mead. We're some mead. mead. That's going to be fun. Courtney, hey. Yes, Kenny. Do you want to accompany me downstairs for a frosted barley pop? I'm gonna take that as a yes. Time to go. I forgot my shoes. All right, folks. Well, we will catch you all tomorrow. If you're here at the Homesteaders of America conference, then uh, don't be shy. Say hi. Bye, everybody. Have a good day. You like editing my pauses. I freaking hate editing your pauses. You love it. No.